Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller on ROG Ally and ROG Ally X to use it with your Wii U Jigs Switch emulator. That was a bit of a mouthful. So if you uh, also, if you want to know how to actually just set up the emulator in general, there'll be a video down in the description. So let's get cracking. So first of all, you need obviously your PS5 control, PS5 controller. I will be doing separate videos for Xbox and PlayStation 4 and obviously switch controllers as well and what you want to do is point to sync mode so I'm going to zoom back as in just literally move my phone back and I'm going to go here and go to Bluetooth make sure let me just focus there we go so you want to click down here go to Bluetooth make sure it's on if it's blue it's on if not click it here click the arrow now we want to you know sync our device so what I'm going to do is just put this into sync mode to do this pretty simple you press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time and the light will start flashing. Then you let go, it's flashing, I'll leave it here. And then you find the device, so your DualSense wireless controller. And there we go. And then the light will go solid once you have connected it. So you've actually connected the controller now. Now we need to you know, map it and configure it in Wii Jinx. So another little tip I want to show you, if you want to you know, remove the controller from your device, go to more Bluetooth settings and here click the three dots and remove device. You don't actually have to have the device connected to remove it, so you could be off and you can still remove it. <coughs> so that way it doesn't automatically connect to this device. The open up regions. And then you just you know zoom in using the most advanced technique ever by just moving my phone. And here we go, Ryu Jim, so it's loaded up. You just want to go to Options, Settings, and you want to go to Input, and here we go. So you want to select Player 1 or whichever player you're selecting. You can create extra profiles as well, so feel free to do that, you name it, and you can click Save. And this is great if you want to have different profiles for different games, different users, for example. Also, you can also change it for dock mode or handheld mode as well. And you can select the type of controller that you'll be trying to basically emulate. Pro controller is the best one, so select that. And here we have a few different devices. Keyboards is obviously keyboard input, we don't want that. This Asus Tech Computer Inc. is the controller system on here that's you know built in. We don't want that. So we want the DualSense wireless controller to actually map it and actually use it in a game if over if i you know focus here and there's two buttons to the left of the screen if you press the bottom one you open the command center control mode you want selected as gamepad because uh, if you have it as desktop or auto um, especially desktop and auto probably usually will go to desktop mode for like an emulator you yes you can control the mouse using the right analog stick instead you will need to use the touch screen but you need to be able to access the keys or the buttons on your controller, you need gamepad mode. So do that. And so let's say if I want to configure, you know, left trigger, for example, zoom out, right click left trigger, and I want to map it with the X button. There we go. It's mapped here as well. It's you know, detecting it as A, but yes, it's the X button. If I say I want to circle, there we go. I'm gonna, you know, change it back as you know left trigger, but that's it. You can just go through the whole process and map the controls. You'll also notice that in buttons A and B are flipped, X and Y are flipped because that's how they, in comparison to like an Xbox controller, where A is at the bottom, the equivalent of X on your PlayStation controller, B is on the right on the face buttons, the equivalent of circle on your PlayStation controller. On Nintendo that created like these original controllers, it's flipped. The X is where Y is, Y is where X is, same with A and B. So these are already pre-flipped. You can, you know, tweak these all you want, but I'm gonna leave it. You can enable Rumble as well. Go to configure, and you can you know, tweak that. Click save, and you can have motion as well. Uh, so we uh, with something like you know motion, you know, it's. I always recommend using the actual control, you know, something like a switch to get the best experience, but <coughs> you can enable it with this one. You can configure the dead zones as well. So if you 
you have any dead zones on your analog stick so you can do that and apart from that that's it you don't need to do anything else click apply click ok and we can launch the game up and if you right click your game and you go to no that's it sorry i was thinking about another application so yeah you can just launch up your game now but remember in the command center you need the control mode set to gamepad whilst you are just you know navigating around reusing maybe not doing controller stuff other settings you can have it in desktop mode or obviously if you are using it in general you can have it in desktop mode but whilst you're playing you need it in gamepad mode if I zoom out we'll change it to handheld for the best performance and if i press these triggers it should go past this screen which it did see it is now working and that's it that is how you connect up your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to your ROG Alloy and ROG Alloy X to use it in the Wii Jing emulator for Nintendo Switch games let me know what other videos you would like to see next especially controller videos just post down in the comments below if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon take care bye